Thomas and Friends, Wooden Railway Adventures, Season 2, Episode 8, Devon Takes Tony's Army. Meanwhile, on the other railway, Tony was talking to his diesel friends. Listen up, everybody, he said. Our time has finally come. You mean the time to destroy the Alice of the Once and For All? Uh, no. We're going to destroy Tony's army first. Tony was supposed to be dead. Wait, you're Tony. Oh, I mean Devin. I mean, Tony. I mean, Devin is trying to take my army. There must be a way to stop him. Maybe we could ambush them? Exactly, Alfred. A diesel shunter named Mini has been recruited, including the ghost train from Gargoyle's backstory. Now listen up, everybody. Here's what we're going to do. But before Tony could answer his plan, one of his diesels were suddenly attacked. Oh! Ah! The diesel knocked brick and junk off the track. Hello. Tony, Devon, I might have known you were behind this. All engines and diesels, he shouted, and trucks, attack! Are you sure about this, Tony? Sure I am, Green. Now go down there and fight. But I have a bad feeling about this. I said go down there and fight them, Grim. I'm green. And I don't know about this. Get them, boys. And girls. Sorry. You better watch out. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, but we want to hurt you. Take that! Oh! What? Oh! Oh! Hey! Hey! Damn it! Whoa! Oh! Ah! You guys will pay for that. But Dark Stanley didn't know that they were free of them. And they hit him so hard that he crashed into the other engines. And Green crashed into Purple. And crashed into Peter. I'll take care of Tony. You free. Go and fight the other villains. Come on, boys. Coco didn't know that Timothy, Philip, and Stanley were behind him. And they hit him so hard that Alfred was coming out of his shed and crashed right into him. Ugh. This guy will pay for that. Yeah. Oh. While this was happening, Devin was rolling towards Tony. You wouldn't make me. I'll make you. I'll push you off the bridge. Try me. But as Tony was about to push Devin off, there was trouble ahead. Ah! Oh! The bridge was wobbling. Whoa! And Devin back away. The bridge.
brick was wobbling that Devin almost was falling down to the ground. Wow! He saw the ground so much. But before Tony can answer, Devin spoke up. Tony, leader of the other diesels of the other railway, is dead. I am your new leader. That goes for you trucks, engines, and anger, and diesels. No, you can't. Ah, ow. Sure, yeah, you're very, maybe right, yeah. Sure, whatever you say, you beat her. What? And all by all, Devin take Tony's villains away from him. Stewie, come on. I know you... You're on your own now, Tony. You got a new leader. You were the useless diesel. All the diesels roll away. Including Devin. But he had to do something first. He's gonna make the bridge collapse. Devin roll away quickly. Soon everyone had left. Tony was all alone. Until the bridge was supposed to collapse, he saw two diesels. There was Mason and William. Mason pushed William off the track and tried to couple off couple to Tony. Mason pulled the two just in time. Then the bridge collapsed. Meanwhile, in the middle of nowhere, I think he's waking up. Sure. Yep, he's waking up. Whoa. What just happened? Wait, I was so, I thought I was supposed to be dead. We saw him falling down the ground to the molting slag but then we decided to rescue you in a tunnel into a tunnel bridge yep but so why did you be come this way well it all started long a month ago we captured some of the engines we were about to kill them but then we told them if they can work for us to stay alive. And so we had a deal. Oh, but now that Chrome's dead, we can defeat these two threats. What the? Huh? Just then, Mason and William pulled up. Boys, what are you doing with Tony? They explain what happened. I see. Well then, we should take some answers out of him. All the... And Thomas puffs sternly to Tony. Well, Tony, I guess that Devin took your army now. What do you have to say for yourself? Tony was very, very sad. He 
it's not his fault for Devon taking his army. I think I had to agree with them, said the backwards engine. Like, I never got a name, and I felt lonely. I was like him. I... I'm so sorry. I've been a stupid fool this whole time. Indeed, said Edward. You've been traumatizing engines for far too long. It's just that I'm so angry. I'm just so tired that you keep winning all these battles. Like you have to deal with Timothy all the time. And all some and I feel angry that you defeated e that you defeated evil James. I couldn't take this anymore. But however, I'm also angry that you defeated Timothy and his big army. I just couldn't take this anymore. I just wanted villains to be reliable. I just wanted villains to keep winning and winning all the time. So I so I pretend to be nice to engines so I can be evil. But now what I've done, I'm so sorry. I guess that you will never forgive me. We do, said Edward. You do? You do forgive me? All engines forgive the other diesels. Tony was happy. It was his first, not evil, only a happy smile. And then, with a blink of an eye, Tony's smile changed to evil to happy. Great, said Thomas. Sebastian will be happy about this. Now, Tony, here's what we're going to do.